Did you know some turtles can literally breathe through their butts? Nah, this isn't a meme. It's a survival hack from nature, and yes, it's real. Let me blow your mind for the next six minutes. Welcome to the weird side of science. This isn't your boring school biology, we're talking cloacal respiration. Big words, but it simply means. Some turtles survive harsh winters by breathing from the back exit. Let's unpack how and why. Turtles don't have lungs like us that constantly pull in air. They can hold their breath for a while, but when trapped underwater, especially during winter, they need a backup plan. That's where the cloaca comes in. It's a multi-purpose opening used for peeing, pooping, and breathing. Yeah, nature doesn't waste space. The cloaca is lined with blood vessels. In certain species, like the Australian Fitzroy River Turtle or the North American Painted Turtle, those vessels absorb oxygen from the water, just like gills. Basically, the turtle becomes part butt, part scuba diver. During cold winters, lakes freeze over. Turtles sink to the bottom, where they enter a slowed down state called bromation, like hibernation, but for reptiles. Their metabolism drops, heartbeat slows, and they chill for months. But they still need oxygen. No air holes? No problem. But breathing saves the day. Imagine telling your science teacher, Miss, my favorite animal breathes through its butt. Sounds like a joke, but it's the most gangster survival flex in the reptile world. Turtles are low-key superheroes. Slow, peaceful, and low maintenance, but when things get hard, they turn into bio machines. Breathing from places no one expected. So next time you see a turtle, respect the shell. And maybe, respect the butt too. Hit that subscribe button for more wild facts nature doesn't want you to know.